Hallelujah. On on this Thursday, December 8th, 2022, we'll read one of the many Bible verses on compassion. I'll read Matthew chapter 14. And it's one of many Bible verses on compassion. And my inspiration to share this is doing a throwback Thursday on some movies and pertaining to the movie Awakenings. And uh, I'll share the link and below. But Awakenings is with Robert Williams, who played as a doctor, who who had compassion on on the on the patients that had some uh, medical issues, and he showed an example of what doctors how we can instead of being into the profession I mean it, it is a profession job but we need to put some soul into it alright I'm not saying all the doctors don't do it but if we could just do that with all our jobs have compassion alright Matthew chapter 14 in the New Testament Gospels Yeshua's cousin beheaded uh, not a good theme to start the chapter on compassion. But anyways, that's the theme. At that time, Herod the Tetrarch heard the report about Yeshua. He said to his servants, This is John the Immerser, or the Baptist. He has risen from the dead. Because of this, these powers are at work in him. For Herod had arrested John, bound him, and put him in prison, for the sake of Herodias, the wife of his brother Philip, because John had been telling him, It is not permitted for you to have her. Although Herod wanted to kill John, he feared the crowd because they considered John a prophet. But when Herod's birthday celebration came, the daughter of Herodias danced before them and pleased Herod so much that he promised with an oath to give her whatever she might ask. Prompted by her mother, she said, Give me the head of John the Mercer here on a platter. The king became sorrowful, but because of his oaths and those reaching with him, he commanded it to be given, and he sent and had John beheaded in a prison. His head was brought on a platter and given to the girl, and she brought it to her mother. John's disciples came forth and took the body and buried it. Then they went and reported it to Yeshua. The next chapter section theme is feeding hungry followers. Verse 13. Now when Yeshua heard this, he went away from there privately by boat to an isolated place. But when the crowds heard, they followed him on foot from the towns. As Yeshua came ashore, he saw a large crowd and felt compassion for them and healed their sick. When it became evening, the disciples came to him, saying, This place is isolated, and the hour is already late. Send the crowds back, send the crowds away so they can go into the villages and buy food for themselves. But Yeshua said to them, They don't need to leave. You give them something to eat. We have nothing here except five loaves and two fish. They said to him, Bring them here to me, he said. Ordering the crowds to recline on the grass, he took the five loaves and two fish, and looking up to heaven, he offered the bracha. After breaking the loaves, he gave them to the disciples, and disciples gave them to the crowds. They all ate and were satisfied, and the disciples picked up twelve baskets full of broken pieces left over. Now those eaten were about 5,000 men, besides women and children. Then the last section theme is telling Peter's faith to walk on water. Or testing Peter's faith to walk on water. Right away, Yeshua made the disciples get into the boat and go ahead of him to the other side while he sent the crowds away. After, we had, after he had sent the crowds away, he went up on the hillside by himself to pray, and when evening came, 
he was there alone, but the boat was already a long way from land, tossed around the, by the waves, for the wind was against it. Now in the fourth watch of the night, Yeshua came to them walking on the sea. But when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified, saying, It's a ghost! And they cried out with fear. But immediately Yeshua spoke to them, saying, Take courage, I am. Don't be afraid, answering. Peter said to him, Master, it's, if it's you, command me to come to you on the water. And he said, Come. And, you, and Peter got out of the boat and walked on the water to go to Yeshua. But seeing the wind, he became terrified and began to sink. He cried out, saying, Master, save me. Immediately Yeshua reached out his hand and grabbed him. And he said to him, Oh, of you little faith, why did you doubt? When they got into the boat, the wind seized, and those in the boat worshipped him, saying, You really are Ben Elohim. After they had crossed over, they came to land at Gennesaret. And when the men of that place recognized Yeshua, they sent word into all the surrounding region. And they brought to him all those who were in bad shape and kept begging him that they might just touch the tzitzit of his garment. And all who touched it were cured. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, hallelujah. And that's verse 36 in the book of Matthew, chapter 14. One of many Bible verses on compassion. Do you have compassion? Ask God to give you more compassion and love. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah.